All right, guys, welcome back. It's time for another Clip Studio Paint tip. And what I'm going to show you today is this button right here, which I use all the time for the specific reason that I want to change the thickness of the brush without having to open up the menu. Now, as you can see, I've got a bunch of menus open here on the side and I really despise using menus like these when I'm using Clip Studio Paint on iPad. I need as much space as possible. It's only a 13 inch screen. And in addition to that, it's not widescreen, so I don't have space for these toolbars on the side. So I usually have them closed, but when I have them closed and I've got lots more space to draw with, I now don't have the ability to change the line width. So for example, you might be doing something like drawing a face and then after that you want to draw more detailed eyes like this. You want to have, you know, like so you can see, the brush was too thick for this part here. I wanted a bit more detail. Well normally I would have to go into here, open up the side menu, click over to the tool menu, go over to the brush size, click over here to maybe, I don't know, 10 because that's what I need and see what that is and might be a bit too small. Maybe try 17. Okay, that's a little closer. 20 might be it. And you know, I'm looking for the brush size that I want and I don't have a special shortcut device. Some people have Bluetooth devices hooked up to their iPads. But the best thing about iPad for me is that I keep it simple. It's just the iPad and the pencil and I often don't even have this glove. It's just really easy to put in my bag and not think about all the other things like chargers and stands and shortcut devices and cables. But I do miss being able to change the brush size easily. And so I use this shortcut here that not many other people tend to use. I'll close this menu over here and just show you what it's like when I've got loads of drawing space and I'm looking for a way to change the line width. I need a thicker line perhaps to draw something nice and bold. See, it looks really kind of horrible like that when it's not nice and bold, but I want to change the brush width, I can actually change it by pressing this button here. And as you can see, a little circle will change in shape here in the middle of the screen. And that's telling me how large the brush size is going to be. So now that it's increased in size, if I try again, I can write the word bold and it's actually going to be bold. Obviously using a G pen is not the perfect tool for using, for drawing text, but you get the point. It's nice and simple. If I want to use a thinner brush again, I just tap over here a number of times and I've got a smaller brush. And what's really great is that I can just tap it one tap at a time and it'll be a little bit thicker, bold, a little bit thicker, bold, a little bit thicker, B, a little bit thicker, B, and just bit by bit, I'm finding the exact right size that I'm looking for. But one of the downfalls of this system is I don't know exactly what size I'm using. I'm going very generally by the size of this circle over here. I think this is kind of the size I want, but usually when you're drawing your illustrations, you know that maybe size 13 is what you use for sketching and you know size 100 is what you use for coloring and then size 20, three is the size you use for actual outlines and making the line art thicker. Using this shortcut, I don't know the number of the brush, but if I do really need to check, I can open up the menu again and check over here. It's like, okay, I'm on brush size number 80. And if I go down here, you can see it's just shuffling through the presets that I've got here. And you can add as many presets as you want. Let's say you want something between 40 and 50, you could actually add a separate preset in there yourself. So that's how I use the shortcut. Let's talk about how to actually get this shortcut on your command bar here. A lot of people don't know what this shortcut is actually called, and they, even if they've seen it here on other people's iPads, they may be wondering, how do I actually get it onto my own commands bar? Because it's not here by default. So the icon you're going to be looking for is like this. It's a small brush size to a big brush size with an arrow pointing like this. There's another one here with a big brush size to a small brush size and the arrow is pointing in the opposite direction. But to find it, you need the name of this shortcut. So if I open up the menu bar here, I click on the Clip Studio icon and click on Command Bar Settings. First, you need to change this from Menu Commands to Options, and then you need to slide down here to the third one, which is Brush Size Palette. When you open up this list here, you've got Select Smaller Preset Than Current and Select Larger Preset than current. I'm actually going to add both. So the first one I'm going to click is go smaller, click add, then I'm going to click on select larger preset, then click add. And as you can see here in the top 
right hand corner, I've had these two icons added for me. And in fact, you can click the add button as many times as you like and add as many of these shortcuts. Maybe you don't want to aim properly, you just want to click in this vague area and make sure you accidentally press the button. You could have a bunch of them. I don't really need so many, so I'm just going to click on them and click delete. And in fact, I already have both of them here, so I'm going to delete the one that I used as an example as well delete. Once you've got the icon added to the command bar, you can actually click and drag and move it around. Let's say that I want both of these icons to be here on the right side of the screen, or maybe I want the bigger size one to be on the left and the smaller size one to be on the right. You can change the order like so. And when you're done, click close on here and the menu will disappear. And now you can just use it as normal. So what's really going to happen is you're going to draw something and go, okay, that is brush size is a little bit too big. I'm going to click this two or three times. Okay, that's much smaller, much easier for me to sketch with. You might do a sketch, of course, <laughs> you wouldn't sketch with the G pen. Let's use a pencil or something. As you can see, it will work with the pencil tool as well. If I click on it, one, two, three, four, five, I've now got a thicker pencil, one, two, three, four, five got a much thicker pencil. If you're finding that digital is not giving you the nuance you need or you just prefer a more analog experience, then this shortcut is really going to help you because instead of digging in through these very digital menus, all you do is you draw, okay, that line's too thick, tap once, okay, that line's a little bit thinner, tap a couple times, this line's much thinner, tap, 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 tap. Okay, this is, this is the thickness I want. Click delete and then you can just go in and do your light sketching like you normally do. And then if you need slightly thicker lines for the outline, you can click on here, one, two, three, four. Now you can come in here with a thicker pencil. And it's so fast. It's just draw, 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 tap, 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 draw, 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 tap, 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 draw, 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 tap, 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 draw, draw, draw. As you can see, it's super fast. The important takeaway is that this is not the only system I use. When I need a very specific brush size, I will open up the menu and I will click. 400 because that's the brush size I need. Or I'll go in here and I'll click number six because I know that I used six earlier for my line art for the eyes or something really, really small and specific. But when this menu is closed and you're just sketching and using a large, as large a space to draw on, on your iPad as possible, these shortcuts are super, super useful to have around. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment if you've got other cool tips or you'd like to ask about other things that I might have tips on. Leave them in the comment section below and be sure to check out this video right here because I'm sure you're going to love it. Got other Clip Studio tips and discussion topics here on this channel. Be sure to check out this video next. That's all for today and I can't wait to see you in the next one.